In this video clip, we are going to cover lesson practice number one from set one from this section of the notes. And the instructions read, evaluate the expressions below. And if you look at the expressions, they all contain that constant e. And the constant e is located, or is the second function, of your division button on your calculator. And all we're going to do in this exercise is just plug in these expressions, hit enter, and see what the calculator tells us. So our first one, just like we did with pi, is just e by itself. So we're going to hit second, the division symbol to bring up our constant e, hit enter, and there's the calculator's approximation for this constant. Just like pi, which was irrational, e is irrational too, and it goes on forever, and this is a rounded uh, approximation. So let's type in 8e. So type in 8, second division symbol. So now I have 8e appearing on my screen. Hit enter. And there is my approximation for that expression. So let's copy these two down. First one is 2.718281828. Two, and then we have for our answer for the second expression 21.7462563. So go ahead, finish lesson practice number one, and complete lesson practice number two. In this video clip, we are going to cover lesson practice number one from set two from this section of the notes. And the instructions read evaluate the following expressions. If you look at all these expressions, there are powers of that constant e. And the function that we're going to use on our calculator to help us evaluate these expressions is the second function of the natural log button, which is located just left to your 4. So if I type in second ln, it brings up e with the caret to it, and it's just waiting for the exponent. Just like the second function of log was 10 to the x, and when I press that in, it was just waiting for the exponent. And if you look at this first problem, it's e to the third power, so I'm going to I am going to type in 3. Close my parentheses, hit enter, and there is my approximation for that expression. So let's go ahead and I'm going to skip to the third one here with this negative 5 in my exponent. So I'm going to hit second, natural log, type in negative 5, close my parentheses, hit enter, and there is my approximation for that expression. So I am going to copy these down. And I will copy down the answer to this. And go ahead and finish lesson practice number one and complete lesson practice number two.